Hey everyone, and welcome to Counter Buzz. I'm Greg Rosink, and I'm here today with Ben Sachs, product manager for controllers here at Hunter Industries. Uh, ben, why don't you tell our customers what it is you do? Well, I do exactly that, Greg. I'm a product manager. I actually work with a team of four of us now. Uh, we manage our entire irrigation electronics product line. So we cover anything from a small battery-powered controller all the way up to a 225 station uh, decoder-powered controller. We got flow sensors, handheld remotes, all sorts of cool electronics that go with any irrigation control system these days. Wow, so managing a lot of technology here. What is your background at Hunter Industries? So I worked at Hunter since 2010. I worked in uh, product reliability and actually testing for a while, so I got my hands dirty, learned the ins and outs of the product line, uh, learned what makes a product fail, to be honest, and how to fix that and make a more robust and quality product, and then transitioned from engineering and manufacturing into marketing and product management now. Okay, that's awesome. So you've done a lot here at Hunter Industries. You've been in the, you, you understand the way these products work and now you manage them and, and create new products, which is awesome. I think that we're gonna get into talking about smart control technologies, and I think that your background in this is perfect for dialing us into this, this topic. So, first question I have for you, uh, and so our customers better understand what we're talking about today is, what is smart control technology? Well, that's a pretty good question, and it's a, that's kind of a double-edged sword question these days, if you ask me. Our, our industry is in a bit of a, a paradigm shift or a transition, if you will. Uh, what used to be considered a smart controller is now requiring an internet connection, right? So previously, a smart controller was something that could connect to an on-site sensor and automatically bump your uh, run times up and down, potentially saving some water based on local ET calculations on-site uh, from that sensor. Now when you think of a smart controller or a smart anything for that matter, a, a ring doorbell or a, even a, a dog food bowl that can be filled up autonomously, uh, anything smart these days is connected to the internet and the irrigation industry is, no, uh, is not lacking in that department whatsoever. So we're connecting things to the internet. We want uh, our contractors and site managers to be able to have remote irrigation management capabilities where they can get notifications when things go awry. They can make schedule adjustments, they can connect to weather stations, get all sorts of different information from the internet. So what used to be a simple on-site seasonal adjustment percentage now is a much more in-depth, data-driven process that has an internet connection and wants to be as smart as possible. Wow, so there's a lot of advantages to smart controller technology and moving into you know, the water savings that you're talking about, what you know, the million dollar question that we always get from our customers is, how much water can a smart controller save me? So ultimately we can kind of boast anywhere from 40 to 50% on average for uh, our smart control platforms, whether you use our solar sync sensor as an on-site ET adjustment sensor or through what we call our Hydrowise or Centralis platforms uh, that connect to the internet and have weather data adjusting your schedules uh, via weather information and forecast data. So we typically see around 40 to 50%. One thing that I do like to reiterate around that is that a smart controller is not gonna fix all your problems. A lot of customers think, oh, I buy a smart internet connected controller, why am I still wasting so much water? The interesting thing there is that a smart controller is honestly only as dumb as your dumbest component of your irrigation system, right? So if you're not using proper pressure regulation, or if you're setting your run times too long, thinking your drip needs to run for hours on end, a smart controller isn't gonna fix all those problems. So even though you have all that information at hand and connectivity, there still is a bit of education required to the installer, the contractor, you need to have proper uh, hardware installed, proper rotors or sprays versus drip. It's, it's not just your control platform and internet connectivity, it's a whole system thing to get that water savings. So it's just one one small piece in the, uh, the, the grand scheme of things when you're talking about water savings and water savings technologies. Uh, we do have other products that we've, that we've seen through the industry that help us save water. This is just another great feature and another great tool that we can use to save water. Um, and I know I've got better things to do than spending time changing the controller every single day. So a smart controller helps me do that by monitoring the irrigation uh, needs of the plant material based on the weather uh, weather forecast, right? Yeah, sure. So obviously the controller for an irrigation system is essentially the engine that drives the car that is your whole irrigation system. So you can get 
Notifications when you have high or low flow alerts. Uh, if you've got a flow sensor hooked up to a system, you can get alerts when it's losing connectivity. It might not operating as high, highly efficient as you would like to. You can change scheduling from remote, phone, tablet, PC, whatever you would want. Cloud-based cloud access mm -hmm. is a, a huge time saver for any end user wanting to manage multiple sites, multiple projects, multiple properties. Being able to touch every one of those controllers in the field, adjust them, say you got you got a region in the Midwest or so and they all need to be winterized at once, being able to send out an update to those customers or to be automatically change those schedules based on weather conditions, ultimately from the comfort of their office space, uh, is a huge time saver not having to drive to and forth each, each project like that. Sure, and some of our customers might not know what our smart controllers are. Uh, can you expand a little bit on uh, the product line that we have for smart control technology? Sure, so right now any single one of our AC powered uh, automatic irrigation controllers can become a smart controller when paired with our solar sync sensor. Mm -hmm. On-site sensor has been around for over a decade. We got wired and wireless versions available. So you get that on-site sensor, measure sunlight, rainfall, temperature, and it'll adjust your run times and make your system smarter that way and save some money. Uh, if you want to jump into the 21st century essentially and get into the IoT Internet of Things world, you can connect to what's called our HydroWise platform. Uh, which is an internet connected Wi-Fi enabled control system like we were talking about a little bit earlier. Talks to weather stations, gets forecast information, can send you text messages when things go awry, all that stuff. So we got basic solar sync sensor for on-site adjustment as well as high-end advanced hydrowise system to automatically adjust all your schedules that way. So we have a wide variety of smart controllers in our product line that can help out uh, a variety of our customers from small residential homes to large commercial properties and uh, I really want to help our customers understand how they can incorporate this into their own business. That's a good question. So a lot of people when you think of a smart irrigation control you kind of think of a, a DIY retail type product that you can go buy at your Home Depot and install hanging on the wall like a ring doorbell if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, what a lot of people don't realize is as a professional irrigation installer multi-site manager contractor is you can actually generate a ton more business and revenue with our HydroWise plan or any sort of other irrigation smart control platform like that to manage multiple controllers, be able to remotely change and adjust things. It's a whole new stream of revenue and business for professional irrigation managers out there. Okay. That's, I mean, that's great information and that, I think that'll help out a lot of our customers in, in the field. One of our customer bases is design. Designers need to specify these products on plans. Sure. So how would you recommend a specifier go about researching the product or specifying the product on a set of plans? That's another good question. I mean, uh, we have a ton of resources available on our website, hunterindustries.com. You can do training through training.hunterindustries.com. Individual control systems, you can learn fully in depth everything you would want to know from a standalone traditional dial-based controller all the way up to a advanced higher-end internet-connected controller. But in terms of a specifier or designer, as long as you know the project wants smart internet-connected control, all of our HydroWise controllers are Wi-Fi enabled right out of the box, so they just got to know whatever the product model is, mm -hmm. throw it on the plans, uh, and let the installer install it properly. You hook it up, power it up, and connect it to your Wi-Fi router, uh, and you're good to go. Okay, wow, awesome. And these products, they sound pretty intricate and like they take a lot of setup. Are these difficult products to use? Is this, is the basic homeowner going to be able to figure out this product or do you need to be a seasoned veteran in the, in the industry to know how to use these products? Yes, yeah, so that's a funny point that you mentioned that. A lot of these smart ET buzzwords that you hear nowadays used to go to those professional managers only and even farmers or people managing agricultural sites or some higher end professional irrigation people. But now, it is quite a bit easier for installers to get those benefits of smart ET watering uh, and weather station information, whether you're a high-end professional irrigator or a residential homeowner who's just now installing their first control system. So everything being online, there's a ton of support, different articles, information you can find from the website and then help throughout the setup, whether it's at the actual face of the controller or on your phone or a computer or whatnot. So lots of different ways you can get different help articles and support as you go through it. So. Okay. Ultimately, what used to be very time consuming and intricate is now much more streamlined and, and straightforward for all of our customers. Okay, and to expand on our 
water savings technologies conversation here, do you have any other water savings tips that uh, customers here could benefit from? No, I do not, Greg. I only know about irrigation control. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm, I'm just kidding. I was already talking about it a little bit earlier, how you're only as smart as your dumbest component in your irrigation system. So pressure regulation, checking your hydro, hydro zone information, soil type, knowing how much water needs to be applied per your rotors, drips, sprays, whatnot, is, is essential to any irrigation control system. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of information, a big bite to chew off right there. So thank you so yeah, much, thanks, Ben, for Greg. joining us Appreciate today. Um, to sum it up, we got an opportunity to look into water savings technologies, how we can incorporate it into our business to generate more profits, and how we can specify these products to create more efficient systems and benefit our customers from water savings and money savings as well. So thank you for joining us today. and. Join us back here next time on The Buzz.